Okay, so, so we're live. Uh, kind of doing a few things last minute. Um, but we in there. Uh, I've got my buddy Raptor uh, in voice Hello, chat buddy. for now. Maybe we'll have some other guests later. Uh, stay tuned and find out. Um, we will be kicking things off with the Future Games Showcase, which starts in a few seconds. Um, but that's probably going to be uh, kind of boring right off the cuff. So um, let me just update my tags real quick because Streamlabs is still doing that thing where it nukes everything. Um, so I'm just going to remove these. Really hope they update that soon. And I have the, the cringe expressions on again today. I'm going to turn that off after um, doing the watch. And we'll do co stream. Genius. I'm looking at the wrong YouTube feed. It's fine. Now, just in the meantime, let's have this going. We've got some trailer bullshit happening. Uh, okay, that's all unmuted. We'll let that rock while I uh, do other shit. I'm Christopher Judge. There he is. They know me best. Boy, man. That a boy. Yeah. God Slayer. Kratos from Sony Santa Monica's God of War series. You didn't know my voice was actually this deep, did you? Usually that costs extra. Tonight, mm -hmm. I'm swapping the axe for a humble microphone because we've got a ton of exciting video game trailers to get through. But like all good adventures, this one requires teamwork. Fact, Thank you, Indigo. I'm calling on nice to see you again. Power to help me hey, Indigo. Out. Oh, Danielle. Danielle. Daniel. Are you with me? I've always been with you, Christopher. <laughs> it's so good to see you. And for all the folks at home, my name is Danielle Basuti. I voiced the Witch of the Woods. AKA the leader of the Vanir, AKA the Valkyrie queen known as the Norse goddess Freya in God of War. And I don't need Freya's foresight to know that this event is staffed with some mm. serious amazing news. Oh, that is quite right. He is indeed not moving. Why are you not moving, Chris Judge? I think it's because I had the window out of focus when I uh, revealed the um tonight we'll be treating you to over a display capture exclusive you guys should be seeing it move now video games you'll be able to find and looking at my stream very entry. uninspired game trailer for the gap game show steam page and you can head on over no it froze on an image of chris judge so well, my i mean that that was far better than what i watched let's get going <laughs> thimble winter doesn't last forever and we've got all that unfinished business to attend to so let's kick things when something off boring happens we're gonna watch uh we're gonna watch this world premiere <laughs> Ooh. already kicking off with a premiere let's do it it seems that when experiencing deja vu a strange phenomenon occurs dude are you awake don't dead enter inside we really need to talk we just had a meeting here in Naraxis. It's really bad, man. Hey, Kana. The campus. Thanks for coming by. Old cortical area hey, Kana. Involved in multiple aspects of memory formation. Bridging our past. Is this a full release of? Enables it to construct our autobiography. This apartment seems familiar. There's a huge flaw. 
They kept it a secret for years. This might be a, re a full release of an early access game. By changing our brain waves in the hippocampal region, Deja Vu creates a brief gateway to a parallel world. Why am I getting a phone call? Fuck off. Ah, potential fraud. Nice. The gap. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar. Well, you know, in my experience, it's easier to salvage your memories when they've been carved into ancient walls. Yes, well, the stream and the live stream a little bit out of sync, so I'm just going to launch it off your stream. The gap is coming soon to PC, PlayStation 5, Let me refresh. Xbox that might be... And S. Okay. All y'all missed is the Alien Fireteam trailer. It, 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 gonna... it, it's a shooter. We're going to watch this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then some really cringy dialogue about the toy box shooter that went viral on Twitter. Um, <laughs> in the quote, it comes from Epic Happy Birthdays on YouTube. Uh, can I pop a link in chat? Is that okay? Uh, you can? Yeah, you should be able to. Okay. Hey, hey Zandy, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Here. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. I think that's actually the first time I've received bits. Nice. You are the first. Here you go, Indigo. So, sorry, Raptor. How out of sync were we? Um, did we actually miss like a full this. trailer? Uh, definitely one for, or yeah, definitely one for Alien Fire Team. And now um, the Gearbox this, one. I think it was Digital Cherries. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention because you were talking at the same time. I see. Um, well, no, we shouldn't have that problem. I didn't realize it was going to... You know what? It probably... Uh, they probably have the, re the rewind feature enabled on YouTube. Thank you again, Sandy. Um, yeah, we were about a minute off. Now? Murderous no, now we're on, now we're on, on target. Okay. We're a minute off. The case of the Golden Idol is coming to PC in 2022. And we're pleased to announce a demo is going I'm just looking up to right see if now. Alien Fire Team is actually interesting looking. No snacks, fridge empty. It's time to answer the call of the trash can. Is that Was it Alien Fire Team Elite? You just That's the one, sorry. Okay, oh, no, it's an aliens game. They don't need a shout out. <laughs> Drawing lines in the sand. worried because your video feed on Twitch appears to have frozen again. Motherfucker. It, it does that whenever I tab out. It should be fine now. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's going again. Raccoon game! Yeah. Snack foods banned? No! <laughs> Not my Cheez-Its! I don't know, Indigo. Um, some very, very brilliant individual, though. Yeah, I think the real answer, though, this this is more like um, Cat Simulator. If they were going for more of a narrative experience, Snackoon, <laughs> that's cute. Um, if they were going for more of a narrative experience, it'd be a different story. But this is going for like cat lateral, cat lateral damage kind of energy. Sly and always looking for their next meal. Raccoons are a lot like us when you think about it. Snackoon is coming <laughs> soon. Now, you might want to dim the lights as it's time Tarka, to Tarika, thanks for the follow. The dark atmosphere of Tainted Grail, the fall of Avalon. So is this a completely different game, or is this just Lords of the Fallen 2? Ooh, looks kind of cool, though.
Why do I feel like we're immediately getting more interesting stuff than yesterday, like right off the bat? No, you're not wrong. You really aren't wrong. Hmm. Methinks Gamescom conflates like big with interesting. Good. <laughs> I thought I'd get us to fire burning. Would have been a shame to freeze to death when we got so far. I mean, there's nothing wrong with space games as long as they're good space games. Oh, we're sky skyrimming. Never mind, I take it back. <laughs> I like I like the art design, but <laughs> this is not a good look. It somehow looks more janky than Skyrim. How do oh, you yeah. want Todd Todd? I mean, I suppose the question is, will this run on my Samsung smart fridge? <laughs> I found him. Or what was left of him. A mile down the road. Listen, Raptor, don't we take an arrow to your crisper drawer. With his horse. <laughs> a horrible way to die, don't you think? I used to be a nice dispenser like you until I took an arrow to my crisper door. Tainted Grail, <laughs> the fall of Avalon is coming. Wait, is my mic picking up my, me laughing, or is it just awkward silence whenever you tell a joke? Uh, it is picking up you laughing. Okay, good. Which means we can all experience this reveal together. Mm hmm. Is this? Oh no, it's a new world premiere. I was about to say, is this everywhere it's again? It's hard to say when we pass the point of no return, but we did. We made our world uninhabitable. Trash. Because for the smartest animal on the planet, humans can be really stupid. Yeah, we can. Civilization started oh, to yeah. creak at the seams. And if there's one emotion greater than greed in humans, is this a space it's fear. game? <laughs> no, it's a trash Perhaps game, though. That's the theme for today. It's all raccoons and trash. But it did. <laughs> and when we are afraid, we get reduced. Uh, to global warming simulator. Survival. We need land. We need food and shelter. <laughs> yes, end, very realistic graphics. We need each other. We need communities. Oh. We need cooperation. Oops. We need to build something together. Will it be something that won't collapse this time around? I mean, Will we this is stop being gameplay. Afraid? Well, it's not thrilling gameplay. It's sim gameplay. And shape the society of tomorrow. Bloodland. There you go. Sorry about that, I had to mute myself. The Air Force was flying over my head. Nice. Yeah. Well, let's World no premiere. Raptor gets Battles bombed. Because Floodland yeah. is coming soon. Slushy, thanks for From coming by. World Thank World you. Tomorrow, it's time to catch up with Plot Twist, the developers behind the last case of Benedict Fox. Okay, so I, I've been seeing, seeing this like... Metroidvania really bits and pieces. I haven't actually seen like a proper um, look at the gameplay of this. Uh, yesterday, the highlights were definitely uh, Lies of P and Atlas Fallen. Um, there were some other ones that were that I didn't really show off a whole lot. That miniatures painting game looked kind of fun, or was that Atlas Fallen? Uh, yeah, you, you were into that miniatures painting game. Personally, I'm I'm not, but oh, yeah. I appreciate it for the people that matters too. Um, where winds meet was a cool like Wuxia take on um, Ghost of Tsushima, and then Phantom Hellcat in the finals might be cool too. Apparently, Phantom Hellcat is inspired by Nier Automata, and the finals is from X Battlefield devs, and it's going to be free to play, so that might actually be good. I'm pretty sure that was uh, Lies of by. P, Indigo. Yes, Lies of P. Because it's based on Pinocchio. 
In our studio, we love Metroidvania. Fanboy Pinocchio. We love how they <laughs> reveal to you the world one step at a time. We wanted to take that feeling and combine it with a great story, a mystery that also reveals its secrets to you the deeper you dive in. It reminds him of someone silly and naive. It's a yes, better. War. But no, for real, like, survive, Pinocchio in that trailer looks so you, pretty. You can always visit our friend Harry Houdini <laughs> to purchase some useful items. Oh, you. <laughs> you can also use wow. the one thing you collect at the tattooist to unlock new skills. Yeah, right now we're, we can only Raptor and I are tentatively useful skill to have. anticipating it's the Warhammer game. Oh! I'm more so you, because you can actually play it. I don't think it's coming to PS or Sony consoles. This is a Metroidvania that's being pushed by Xbox. Um, it's got a very convoluted title. They will show it again. That was the slam skill that we just acquired. What did you think? <laughs> I love it. When developers are like, that was the slam skill. Do you like? Hmm? And that's slam skill? Hmm? Connection. <laughs> well, I don't like this. I don't like that at all. Resentment. Yeah. He survived her abuse and wears like, like gameplay-wise, I'm sure this game is fine, but I'm Which not vibing now. with the but atmosphere. Remember, you're not the only mm -hmm. one who can descend into limbo. I'm gonna type that in chat. Last. I'll take the boy over a demon companion. Oh my god. Uh, do we need a boy the last counter? The case of Benedict Fox is coming to ah. PC and Xbox in spring 2023. I will also classify our next game as a psychological thriller where you try desperately to maintain order while at the whim of a tricksy, malevolent beast. I thought this I wish one I was could a sound like this narrator. Puzzler. It's up for interpretation. Sorry, let me move my Discord so I can actually look at Discord without the stream fucking pausing. Yes! Lucas, I found it! Oh, hey, nice one, Annie. Hmm, this doesn't look quite right. Let me show you our game while we sort this out. Uh. Uh-oh. Uh, the stream froze for me too, so. Yeah. It's a it, it's a GameSpot problem. Welcome back, Funny Man. Come on, the chat is very toxic for. Uh... Oh, okay, we're seeing, <laughs> we're seeing the NDI video source startup screen here. Well, we were watching that previous game that I posted the name of in chat, uh, The Last Case of Benedict Fox, um, and then it started showing a new game, and... Uh, we're thrilled to announce that A Little to the Left is coming to PC on November ahead, 8th, 2022. Also, the volume is so loud now. Okay. I know. It's been fun seeing oh, all shit. the old games coming soon, oh, but God, I, won't get I quieter. figured we could use a quick break. A change of scenery, perhaps? You read my mind. What were you thinking? We just have a quick break. What if I told you that there was actually a hidden tenth realm, one drenched in neon light? A hidden Plus, tenth realm drenched in neon light? Marketing buzzwords, whole poggers! None with this much artificial lighting. Sorry, they were catering to the stream chat. The realm is the virtual show floor. Every booth you can see game attached oh now it's stupidly quiet after the show for those at home which means all of you now is this some metaverse bullshit or is it in vr chat try out any of the games that catch your eye all right with that in mind let's get started with our first game this is fairy afterlight 
a stylus metroidvania inspired by indonesian philosophy oh players will control chemo and wispy a literally inseparable duo as they explore the world of lumina working together to solve puzzles and defeat fearsome enemies <laughs> missing atreus all of a sudden that's uh it's a good voice to have shaking Always up your house <laughs> Lovers of strategy and bootleg booze rejoice as this game covers both in equal measure. Moonshine Inc. is a management sim where players battle it out to brew the best hooch Hold on. in town. What is our... Players will expand their facilities. What's uh... Oh, fuck. Players will expand their okay, facilities we're fine. and perfect the making of Mountain Mash while evading the panoptical eye of Johnny Law. With genuine fermentation processes recreated virtually, this sim is as real as it gets. Just make sure you don't get caught. And now for something completely different. Yes, because we're jumping from moonshine making to a mysterious metropolis. Ooh. It's time to fear the new blood as our attention turns to Gloomwood, a grim dark. What's the name for the old PC shooters, shooters again? Survival horror grades of the late nineties. It's like a. Naughty. Oh, we've got the uh, RE4 uh, fucking attaché case. To improvise, adapt, and overcome a town teeming with mischievous mobs. So what are you waiting for? Grab what you can see and get to Boomer it. shooter. That's the term. Our next game also involves plenty of improvisation, just with a little bit less focus on monster slang. Care to do the honest? Farming game. Ooh, it's Ooh. on a dino. A sandbox city builder set on the back of a gigantic wandering creature called Anbu. In my experience, living with a giant tortoise wasn't so bad. Mm. I was hoping it would be more like other farming games and not this weird, like, technologies in an effort to revive off hands pop up book society. looking. Will you settle and survive? I'm not a fan of the aesthetic. No. By learning to bond with the beast? Or That's a problem with a lot of indie games. Like, like good force. ideas, but. Where are we off to next? Maybe we can have giant dinosaur trade routes. Strike a chord. <laughs> well, <maybe laughs> Oftentimes, very I mean, poor. Ooh. Musicians Ooh. Gather power chord. Power chord. A oh, deck it's. Builder from Big uh, Bubble. Deck builder. Equip gear and create combos to strum and roar your way through a monster filled battle of the bands held in grungy grottos and hellish hole in the walls. Monsters come in all shapes and forms, from demons to dead. See, one of the things we might take a look at later, I actually have a bunch of roguelike demos. This is a twin stick shooter set in the mind Ooh. of a little girl called Rem. Players will battle all right. through 80 levels of her vivid nightmares. Each one oh, needles don't like that. Manifestations of everything from vegetables to dogs and yes, even school friends. <laughs> Its charming art style will have you questioning whether it's creepy, cute, <laughs> That That little or giggle there. would not describe this as cute. <laughs> now, you'd as a weapon, She's just getting bullied and hates her life and, and has mental trauma. <laughs> School friends. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a a pulp depressingly relatable. Where players will generate terror and expand their influence through the spread of scary stories and creepy conspiracies. From Bloody Mary to Reptilian Overlord. Let the unexplained mythos of the public consciousness become your. It seems like something I'd pick up for ten bucks and maybe play help? once. I, mm. I kind of dig it. What haven't I got? Anno Mutationum is a sleek already been released. RPG that blends 2D and 3D graphics to create a rich world that you'll just. It looks amazing. When you're I have it on PS4. Or um, or I've not monkey. had time to You'll sink into it. your way through cybernetic monsters and pursuing criminals in the underbelly of this atmospheric, vibrant neon. Did you show me the demo for this? Yes. Our next game will teach you to never underestimate a hero. Oh, no, I really besides. hope you can't hear the cat. Misk, a tiny tail, follows Buddy and Bag Boy. Adorable makeshift robots working their way through peaceful landscapes to help out their friends and unravel the history of this strange world. Dress up and clean up as you get to know these little parts with big hearts. Just try not to screw up your jumps in the demo. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see what those little guys get up to. But Such alas, an ominous voice for it's nothing. Time to get back on the Rainbow Bridge because that marks the end of our trip to the virtual show floor. Remember, folks, 
you can head to the Future Games Show Steam page to check out free demos for all of our featured games. Now, when they say future games, do they mean everything during this stream or just these games they showed? Don't forget to try those games after the show. I guess just those now, games. That's kind of lame. It's not often that you get a threequel, you know. It's not often that a game skips straight to third entry either. But here we are. Oh, is there not a fucking goat simulator too? Is that the joke? to call it the greatest of all time, but for me, this is definitely the goat. I know there was an expansion for the first one. I guess I just kind of conflated the two. Down on the farm, we're making only the finest organic Hello. dead memes. And I'm a game designer at Coffee Stain North. We are developing Goat Simulator 3, which is the second installment of the Goat Simulator series. Goat Simulator 3 <laughs> yeah. is set on the beautiful island of San Understood. Florida. Here, you can explore the... By the way, sands. let me know if you guys want me to turn off the subtitles. Um, Uncover the mysteries they're just kind of whatever. Order. But some or people might find it annoying. I don't know. In your path. With over 350 different goat gears, you will have a bunch of ways... Oh yes, expressing goat gears. As a goat. <laughs> Gear okay. Will make you look fat. I like the sound effects though. It can also give you abilities. And you can combine them endlessly. <laughs> the stilts. Find them while exploring the island. Or oh, that looks cursed. By simply being a goat. Yeah. You know how to like that. In Goat Simulator 3. You can discover San Agora together with up to three friends. Yeah, I think they patched in multiplayer to the first one. Online or couch co -op. I don't know if it was very good, so hopefully they've Everything worked on you that. Do in single player, you can do in multiplayer as well. Together, you can wreak havoc in San Agora without any restrictions. That's nice. If you're feeling competitive, put your skills to the test. And challenge your friends in okay. one of the seven I'll leave the subs on then. Games. Mini games can be played either at a specific location for a tailored experience or played anywhere you want. You can play a round of car derby on a nice open field. Or maybe on a less optimal spot on the island. Also, since this is kind of low energy, um, I just thought I'd mention, I don't really have on November another goal to work toward in terms of my other gear part. stream, like, followers and whatnot, but um, <clears throat> I am planning on commissioning six emotes, That's and we like currently no have I only I mean, seen. six Goals slots, one of which I'm using for the soon. fucking ties it, so now um, it's time to check the out next... A new trailer for the chant. A survival game set on a remote island. The next in the goal I think we would dungeon. have would be another Pillows at the ready. Um another ten sub points. Let me just check that. Ooh. Oh, summoning zombos. Hi, my name is Mike Scoopa. We are Brass Token and our studio mission is to tell Don't play my own stream, please. Thank you, Twitch. Game mechanics. The chant is a third person horror action adventure game set at a remote island spiritual retreat. After a group ritual goes wrong, your spiritual... Oh god, are we literally on Jared Leto's life. island? As Glory yeah. Island fills with cosmic dread, you will encounter an array of prismatic creatures and cultists... Released Is this the, the Morbius video game? Use your fights carefully and battle using spiritual weapons and abilities. Use your like Morb crap, meter! You manage your resources, as each encounter could be a decision between fight or flight. Mind, body, and spirit are the three stats that drive survival, upgrades, and the ending you receive. Balance is everything. Welcome Am I morbing? The chant is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox in 2020. I mean, my webcam might be doing some funky shit. It's not All a great right. webcam. It's time to learn more about Ooh. Araban Shadow Ooh. Legacy, Ooh. which was revealed during the Xbox and Bethesda showcase earlier this year. Y'all? 
Arab themed game? Hmm? Helios. They search for someone who does not exist. The shadow. Hi everyone. I'm Alex, one of the founders and game designer from Baby Robot Games. We are really excited to be here today with you at the Future Game Show. Right now, and in partnership with Rob Fury, we are working on our debut game, Erevan Shadow Legacy, a fast-paced stealth platformer set in a sci-fi and morally grey universe. In Erevan, you will play Ayana, the last descendant of a forgotten race with the ability of merging with the shadows and moving freely through them. Your mission? To infiltrate and confront the cryptic megacorporation Helios, investigate what they are hiding and their relation with the disappearance of your people. Hmm. You may have seen our announcement trailer in the Xbox and Bethesda June Showcase, which we hope you liked. Today, we'd like to take a deep dive into Erevan's main mechanic, the Shadow Merge. The origin of this mechanic came from our passion for stealth games since we were kids. Traditionally, they all have used shadows to make you less visible, so we thought, what if I like how when it seems you're in the shadows, kind of like Splinter Cell, your like your your hair and and um the design on your clothes glow. This allows you to smoothly advance under the enemy's feet, suddenly appear behind their backs if you choose to play lethal, or conveniently disappear right in front of their noses if you are in danger. As long as you are not flashed by a light or stay too much time merging, the shadows have your back. That's Apart really from that, cool. The shadow merge also means a big advantage in terms of mobility. For example, wherever there are shadows, you can climb walls and reach high and otherwise inaccessible places. Or you can use moving objects, or even the moving shadows to navigate from one place to the oh. other. Or you can go through small spaces, ignoring fences, bars, or gratings. Or you can jump from high places and smoothly land in a shadow completely safe and silent. As you see, the Shadow Merge is very versatile, so it's up to you to discover and combine all its possibilities. And that's only for the base mechanic, as during your adventure you will learn upgrades and completely new Shadow Powers. But well, that's a whole new topic for another time. Erevan Shadow Legacy will be available on 2023 on Steam, but you can already wishlist it if you liked what we showed you today. Besides, we partner with Xbox to bring you the game for Xbox One, series and on day one on both pc and xbox game pass oh also don't forget to follow us if you don't want to miss any update thank you very much for i kind of wish it was coming to ps4 and ps5 but it still looks very good oh yeah into their i really like the art style mm -hmm. stealth isn't exactly a god's forte but i respect it nonetheless Wish lists at the ready because Araban Shadow Legacy is coming to PC and Xbox in 2023. Oh, that looks so good. Now we're moving from Shadow Powers to a Ooh. Shadow Drop. Our next reveal is Dungeon a Crawler? nostalgic surprise. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is this a uh, wizardry? Yeah, uh, wizardry guide. Hmm. We're pleased to announce that the English translation of wizardry, the five ordeals, is out now on Steam. Wizardry is a weird franchise because it started as a Western Solstice series, but then right Japan the went ham with and it, and they started have a surprise releasing their own wizardry games. Until its release. Oh, Solstice looks really good. I'm probably going to stream this later in the year. It's like a character action game. Demo! Okay, okay. That's that's on the docket. Hello, Solstice. I know what we're doing today. Download. Yes, Steam is installed. Hopefully this doesn't fuck up my bitrate. We're pleased to announce that the demo for Solstice is available right now, with the full game coming to PC. It's a character action game, Indigo. Games like Devil May Cry, basically. 
Now it's time to see some exclusive gameplay from After Image, a mystical, hand-drawn Metroidvania. Ooh, Product more Metroidvania. Ooh, Modus Games. They they actually publish good shit. Such as. Yo, yo. Oh, I like what I'm seeing. This looks great. After image. Let's do it. After Image is coming to PC, PlayStation, yes. Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in Q4 2022. Modus Games is legit. They are such a cool we publisher. We this next game during our spring showcase earlier this year, but we're proud to reveal more details about the player's exciting mission in Deliver Us Mars. Peggy 12. What the hell happened here? Okay, I've started a new goal. Uh, this is Kathy. 10 sub Please points will in. get us a uh, new emote slot, and then we'll be able to use all the emotes I plan to commission. Bring the arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. All right. What do you expect to find? On Let's Mars it up. I'll see you soon, Luca. Kathy, why did you want to come on this mission so badly? T minus two minutes to cruise stage separation. Everybody copy? Copy. 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 Starting burn. We are in loss of control. I know I can do this. How does it come to this? Having good intentions isn't hard, Kathy. The hard part is knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong. We have to leave. I will not risk the success of this mission. Seems like they're trying to do a more narrative. But you stay strong through all of that. Like Uncharted kind of thing without combat. Good. There seems to be a big focus on climbing. Deliver Us Mars is coming soon to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. This next game was revealed during opening night live last night. Oh, yes. We've got an in-depth... Phantom Hellcat. Here we go. ...inspired slasher platformer Phantom Hellcat. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Armand Lenda, and I'm the creative director and co-founder of Iron Bird Studio. Today, I'd like to show you our newest unique project, Phantom Hellcat an old-school, western-style slasher game. This game became our ultimate goal, right and dream. It's a love letter to the generation of games full of giant enemy traps and armies with more than one million troops. We will take you to the golden age of slashers. It's at one billion troops, really? Please take a look at the trailer. Oh, this is the day of dead show. memes. <laughs> As a reference to uh, Tak Fuji, uh, one of the old producers for Konami, um, when they were publishing like an early Xbox 360 title. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah, so this also is a character action game in the go. We've got the air juggles, we've got the air combos. They specifically cite Nier Automata as their inspiration for this. I'll admit I'm not a big fan of the mask. Uh, it's a little creepy, but uh, everything else looks good. Phantom Hellcat is coming soon. All right. Let's mix things up with another surprise. It's time for our next 
world premiere. It's like a portrait of a streamer just holding his head and being like, oh no, there's so many eyes on me, no! Gas mask gets a bit foreboding considering you're just going in here with no, no protection. Alright, Solstice has just finished downloading. Hell yeah. Hmm. Oh. I'm just tripping balls. Got it. Hmm. Looks okay. Edge of Sanity is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in Countdown until it says Lovecraftian. No? Okay. Our next trailers <laughs> are all from our friends at Wired Productions, who have some news about three of their exciting upcoming games. I like sequels. Do you like this? Whatever this is? Oh. Barbro Barbro. Oh, oh god. It gets worse. I'll be honest, I'm really not the biggest fan of of uh sim games and like build oh my god. We are all family. Family with one common goal. This seems like a cult. Satisfaction. Yep. As the old saying goes, you can't choose your family. Except here at Yungo. Sorry, this is embarrassing. My PC appears to have froze. I'm gonna, you know, put it to sleep and then wake her back up. BRB. Okay. Be the horse that wins the race. Be the kitten that gets the milk. Be the sperm that gets the egg. I don't like this narrative. I would hate to replace you. Very firmly inspired by Portal and Half-Life. Use your gravity gun to move shit around, solve puzzles. The cycle begins anew. Yeah, basically. A new refuge. A haven. A bastion from which to rebuild. But this time we will succeed. We will build higher. Welcome back. We will build stronger. Yeah. Sorry for that. We will dream a new world. Oh, this is that ah, game. Yes, that game. Um, any builder. Thanks, Indigo. Falconeer Chronicles Bulwark. Alright. 
Thanks to the team at Wired Doesn't look bad, I just for those don't understand how it works. And for revealing that The Last Worker is coming to PC on October 19th. A lot to look forward to. Next up is our Ones to Watch segment, which features several exciting upcoming games. Ooh, I like those character designs it showed for a split second. Grid Force. Looks like a roguelike. Kind of inspired by Mega Man Battle Network. Do not feed the monkeys 2099, all right? Moonrider. Mmm. Very Sega Genesis era looking. Shit, sorry. I wanted to suspend that ad. I didn't realize there were going to be a bunch of whole cool shit starting now. Might be. Ooh. That looks like a cool puzzler. Yeah, it should look fun. We're adding that to the list. Yeah, cute aesthetic too. Yeah, like hopping from shadow to shadow. That's a really fun mechanic. Dome King Cabbage. Looks oh, it's probably Dome very King. bizarre, but I'm interested to see what it comes out with. <clears throat> that was our ones to watch montage. Hmm. Make sure to wish list anything that piqued your interest. It's hard to believe that there are any world premieres left, but damn it, we've got one more for you. Oh my god, I've got don't one more world premiere. Don't say we don't treat you here at the Future Game Show. Well, it better be a fucking good one if you're going to hype Peggy it up like 16. that. <laughs> That's Zesty. a great poor thing. It would take but a single act to spy hey, it's back. The likes <laughs> of go back there. humanity. I forgot there were emote modifiers. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the risk when you order stuff through Amazon. Countless millions would now fight <laughs> to hold the line. With success measured in inches. Ooh, petroglyph. What are they known for? The stage set. For I believe they were known for some of the Command and Conquer games, or at least they're they have a bunch of devs in the old Command and Conquer the games. Entire continent. Now. Oh yeah, it's, it's big old yeah. RTS. Definitely not something no. that I think piques your interest, but oh boy, is it peak in mine. Maximum peakage. Petroglyph. How do you actually do emote modifiers? It's coming to PC in 2023. Next, we've got a new trailer for Backfire Wall, a tragic comic adventure set inside of a smartphone. Oh. I'm just reading what's typed here. Hello there, I'm OS9. I'm the operating system of this phone. I kind of run things around here. Hello, and welcome to the update protocol. Uh, what was that? The update will now be installed. Oh, shift! Not the update protocol. Congratulations. The cache will be cleared out. Uh... Congratulations. New one bits and zero bits will be put in their proper order. Are you joking? You're not even programmed to give me a good conversation. The system is considered very, um, very dangerous Stanley place. Parable what? attitude An to this narrative. Will always make the right choice. No, 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 no. I, listen, listen to me. I understand you're confused, but this is really not the solution. If the system is not updated, the user will destroy. Would you just it. shut up? It's okay, buddy. We're, we're handling this. It's time to put it news. <laughs> you're great at finding another way in skills. Yeah. Please get us out of here. A demo for Backfire Wall is available now on Steam, and the game is coming to PC, 
PlayStation, Xbox, not particularly and interested Switch in trying that one out, to be honest. Now it's time for our friends at Team 17 to take the stage. Let's see what they've got to show us. Yeah, Team 17's library is so wild, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> oh! Yo! That kind of looked like uh, a shoot 'em up inspired by cotton. Really hope I didn't miss the fucking title just now. Yeah, I didn't see one. The Night Witch. Yo, that looks good. Kind of a slow paced shmup. Yeah, Marauders looks good, but um, really didn't have a good experience with the cycle, so I don't know if I'm really chomping at the bit for another. Uh, Another Tarkov, like, you know? This looks all right. Decent looking beat em up. Those character models are okay. Definitely more of an Animal Crossing than like a Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley. Yeah, yeah, Nico, that's not a bad comparison. Silent, thanks for coming by, man. The Messia. That looks like a Souls like. Mm. Or I guess a uh, Sekiro style affair. Yeah, I don't know. Team 17, like, I don't want to talk bad about any of these games. It's just they really don't tickle my fancy except for uh, uh, the Night Witch. The Pilk Father. Thanks to Team Seventeen for providing us with a closer look at all. Oh my God! There's some toxic games. shit going on in the chat for this stream. Wishlists are gonna need wishlists. Check out more details on GamesRadar.com. I must have missed something because. Next up, we've got a gameplay trailer. Uh, you know, I'm not even gonna acknowledge it. Powered by unexplainable phenomena. Sorry, is this looking at the subtitles? When did he say immersive or simulator? The world has been full of unknown things. Anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from or what their purpose is. It's because of this that we founded the SCP. Oh, Foundation, SCP. An organization dedicated to containing anomalous Truck. signs, Dragon. and phenomena. I'm a toaster. <laughs> I'm gonna turn down the volume a bit. There. Secure. We contain. We protect. Hmm. SCP Secret Files is coming soon. 
Yeah, I don't think I do. Earlier, I may have Ooh. told a little white lie when I said there was only one more world premiere. Because I'm looking this down looks okay. right now, and I'm actually seeing another one. This is kind of cute looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's just say one for now. And that kind of whispery voice is doing something for me. <laughs> Modus Games, let's oh, do you. it. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! Hmm, seems like this is all about electricity and magnetism. No! Oh, is that does that does that Sticking moose have like aesthetic. power lines as as antlers? That's kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of wish that aesthetic was felt more in the other enemy designs, though. Tesla grad too. I mean, they're posted ah, lightning I've heard legs. Of Tesla grad. You've got to love it when a beloved game gets a worthy follow up. I Tesla see. Grad 2 is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in spring 2023. Speaking of follow ups, we've got an update from Supermassive Games on the next entry in the Dark Pictures anthology. Unfortunately, nobody cares about Dark Pictures because they've been underwhelming compared to The Quarry and Until Dawn. Where the hell are we? Like, consistently. Murder Castle. What do we do? Is this a good idea? I don't see any other options. This has been weird every No worries, Specs. Thanks for lurking. It's getting scary. This is beyond messed up. Yo, white hoodie bro though. Over here. Character inventory. Hi. It's a puzzle. A riddle of some sort. Tricks and traps, playing games. That's not what I was expecting. What was that? I can't handle much more of this. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. You okay? Not even close. Hey! He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. If we don't do something, both of them will die. We have to choose. No! Yeah, they have like a pass the controller thing. Fuck out any way you can. Or I think each player controls different characters' choices. That was the Dark Pictures anthology. Don't talk about Devin. fucking yawning silent. I did not care. No, like, I got enough Xbox sleep, on but 18th, not all at once. So today is going to be a Next struggle, up, but we'll do it. Cortez Productions have sent us oh god, I don't like that. For their atmospheric horror <laughs> EXP war drama. Just look at my fucking v right model. What is doing in reaction to what I just did? Uh, did not translate well. Yeah, hopefully, in the go. This looks good, assuming this is a gameplay. The head bob is a little janky. This is a VR game. Help me, Krieger. What? That <laughs> subtitle was so off. Everything we felt here. I know it is not human. 
At least, it wasn't meant to be. It's not super scary. <laughs> Here again. Oh, edgy quote. <laughs> All right. We're pleased to no worries, man. A Have a good day at work. EXP War Trauma is live on Steam right now with the full game coming soon. Now it's time to check in with Rooted. An apocalyptic survival game developed in Unreal Engine 5. All right, take a shot, boys. <laughs> Please. This is a state apocalyptic survival game. Here we go. Laboratory, on behalf of the government, assures that none of the bacteriological attacks will harm citizens' health. I quote, there are no risks of any kind. You are safe in your house. Not attempt leaving the city using transportation services. Umbrella is here for you. Food resupply is allowed once a week for each citizen. Please use the dedicated smartphone app to register yourself and <laughs> The true apocalypse having to use a dedicated smartphone app. And shops around your block. Raptor, I'm just checking. Have you muted yourself? It is crucial to have your ID card okay. With no, I've just been silent. Uh, I haven't really had anything yeah. worth commenting on lately. It's the there's nothing interesting mm -hmm. happening part of the stream. Also... I, at some point, I need to rewatch yesterday's VOD to see if during the fucking Destiny video, if I made a joke about it being a new Fortnite update, because Destiny is actually coming to Fortnite. Of course it is. Also, I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> I should clip that then. <laughs> uh, I made that joke a couple times, and I, and, I, and I feel like I was on point every time I made it, but I didn't realize... I was that on point with fucking destiny. <laughs> I really hope that guy isn't the last of us. Uh, oh my god, he said the last of us. Oh, which is coming off. soon to PC. And here's a gameplay trailer for Hellsweeper VR, Ugh. a new roguelike combat game from the creators of Sirento VR. You know, Silent doesn't have to worry. Raptor's not as good at murdering people in, in Fall Guys. It's usually the other no, way. I'm horrible. Honestly. Yes, I'm horrible at fall, guys. Oh, slow mo. Actually, if I recall correctly, um, the Destiny thing came up. You made the Fortnite joke, and then immediately afterwards, yeah. I'm like, "Don't give them ideas." So, <clears throat> good job. <laughs> you gave them ideas. Oh, this is VR as shit. Use your zappy gun! Zibbity zappity. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I'll admit, I'm not great at killing people in Fall Guys either. Uh, something I need to learn. I do like the weird, like, anti-gravity movement that they're going for, but I think a lot of people are going to get sick playing that. Yeah. This is a VR game. Yeah, that's a... Uh... I don't that's like not seeing the fun. fucking Meta Quest logo. Hellsweeper VR is coming soon to Steam VR and MetaQuest 2. Our next game is Stray Blade, where players explore. I'm just gonna minimize the chat for fucking YouTube because it's 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 utterly brain dead. 
Boy, that joke never gets old. There is never anything worth listening to or reading. It's just a bunch of toxicity and uh, misogyny, basically. Or people screaming GTA Before 6. Before stream, there was somebody that really wanted to see Need for Speed 2022, Gosh. and I'm like, why? With a blueprint, I should at least be able to craft something better than a rusty sword. Burnout died for those games. <sighs> Oof. This looks mobile as shit. Time to forge. Boji, I found something. With feeling. I can't wait to try this. Is there a demo for Bright Memory? Hmm. No. Doesn't look like it. Oops. God damn, that's a big skill list. Skill tree. Oh, I could add this to my collection. I think I found my style of this one. This just feels like a mobile Souls like. Oh my! It really, really does. You want to know what this is, right? Well, this behind me is an arcane forge. It was used by the LSE to create the most powerful weapons, armor. And Nico, when you said League of Legends, are you sure you don't mean like WoW? Because that's what it looks like. But gameplay wise, again, it looks like a Souls like and. Uh, um, streams frozen again. I'm assuming that's the same on your end, Raptor. Yeah, no, the stream right. is indeed frozen. Let's see. Does the cancer have anything? To Let say? me see if Games Radar no. stream is any better. Updates have been released, and we have more in the works. Yeah, we're we're gonna switch over to the games radar stream. Let me just link that to you, Raptor. Will have been released. Sure. Three new units are joining the game, completing the roster with a total of fifty-seven different units for you to play. Yeah. It's here we establish a new horizon, and why this fantasy mode, payload. This will open up eight different maps for you to fight your foes on. We are also releasing the third act to the campaign. It's here we establish New Horizon and why this faction is hellbent on world domination. With this, we will be delivering hours of intense campaign action with more to come. And for the first time, we are releasing a new level editor, giving you the tools to unleash your imagination and create new content for the community. And this is only the beginning, Commander. We have new modes planned, extra maps for you to fight on, new units to come. Also, this strategy, chat is a lot less toxic. More co-op modes to play with friends. That's nice. Entirely new missions for our campaigns coming in the next few months. I like the art from the cutscenes, but the this gameplay does nothing for me. Team, Commander, we want you to join us to help shape the game. Update 1.3 is available now, and for a limited period, you can get Crossfire Legion with 34% off. Crossfire Legion is available on PC, and the August update <laughs> is coming very, very soon. Yeah, pretty much they're in to go. We've had a lot of fun tonight, but let Ooh. me tell you what's not fun, Danielle. Robo hands? Wise. Oh, is there another world premiere? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, the good news is that we've got something electric lined up. Roll the clip. Oh, this is just... Wait, no, we... Tesla Garad was a sprite-based game. What is this, then? That electrified, though. Modus again, though. Is this Tesla Glad... Are they, are they making two sequels? Or are you just getting Tesla, Gl Tesla Grad 2 and 3? <laughs> oh, it's a fighting game. This is a fighting game. Or not? It's a rhythm, rhythm fighting game. I don't know how I feel about that. 
Hmm. Well, I mean, I suppose it's an original concept, even if it's not necessarily a good one. I see. Bust out your loots because God of Rock is coming soon to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Now, let's take a trip to the galaxy's edge. To That's a good point, Indigo. How different can they be? Farming adventure, Lightyear Frontier. Hi, Look, it's I'm a Sebastian, space farming game. I'm the community manager for Lightyear Frontier. Yeah. Post apocalyptic survival sci fi space game. Survive. The water gun, though. In Lightyear Frontier, you'll be starting This is kind of interesting. It's kind of reminiscent of Slime Rancher. Yeah. Your mech comes equipped with all the tools you need, so put them to good use. Yeah. comfy. After you get on your feet, can we get some multiplayer? Some online? Some watering them. You might actually be down for this one. Merchant for more materials or to use in crafting. Maybe I just like hoses. <laughs> Ooh, you little grapple. To create a sustainable home. Oh, that's cool. Little grapple drill. Ooh, vacuum. Research and build the first structures of your homestead. Relax every once in a while and appreciate the fruits of your labor. Build a homestead, grow crops, and explore your new surroundings. This actually looks like a really decent. I do love exploiting resources. Yes. You'll need to collect materials from the environment around you to start. Care root. Along the way, take time and enjoy the beauty of your new home in all its vivid and mysterious splendor. The planet is full of beautiful and expensive environments. There you go, Specs. Be sure to take in the scenery. And different robots, too? Y'all. Arm tank. We're getting some, uh, some Steambot Chronicles in here. When night falls, it's time to hit the hay and get rested for another day. Light Your Frontier releases in spring 2023. Mm. Take care of nature, and it'll take care of you. That's all for now. Hey, Zandy, welcome back. Lightyear Frontier is coming to PC and Xbox in spring 2023. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll mark that down as a game. tentative. I just need to check something. Shodan, are you with us? Mic check on Shodan. Please don't hand her to the fucking... Humans interfacing with computers for, 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 for their own entertainment. The very notion... No worries, Sandy. That's for... Oh, thanks for hanging out. This is System Shock. upon my works, foul creatures. And weep at its magnificence. It is a beautiful day on Citadel Station. On Citadel Station. Humanity is on, is on the verge of a new era. Wait, it a space mouse burger. I don't like this Look voice effect. You, hacker. A pathetic creature of meat and bone. How can you challenge? She's supposed yeah, to be a crazy AI. Immortal machine. <clears throat> oh, laser rapier? Huh. You are nothing. I create, I iterate, I fuse flesh and steel into perfection. My children, after. their blood is on your hands. You will suffer for your transgressions. Your transgressions. These are my of uh, 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 avenging angels, and they will have retribution. <laughs> Elevator music. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there there are going to be many people System interested in that, but soon. that kind of did nothing for me. And Xbox. You know, Danielle, horror games are a lot like onions. What? Mm -hmm. you mean, like, Layers of fear. Cry? Well, yes, but also they have layers. Or at least yes, Andy. I hope you're uh, staying sane. Such a softy. Peggy, sixteen. My very first memory is that of hitting a piano key. And playing Moonlight Sonata. Pure joy at the immediate response to my action. And then a surge of power as I realized that the piano would do what I wanted it to. Unfortunately, Bloober Team is a bad company that steals a lot of stuff, so. I will never be like one of his paintings. But I can make the paintings be like me. Scarred, broken, hidden from the world, imprisoned in this house. I know what must be done. It's interesting the direction they're taking this in, because if I remember correctly, the first Layers of Fear was very focused on this painter and how he was mistreating his wife. So it almost seems like this is from the wife's perspective now. No! I really don't remember a lot about the plot, though. And again, I'm not going to be giving them any money, so... I've just watched the playthrough of it. Before we before we kind of knew that they were scumbags. Really, we're getting the fucking Bioshock lighthouse. They just can't stop. They that just can't stop stealing. Gameplay from Layers of Fears, which is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox in 2023. <sighs> wow. What a show it's been. And you only said boy. Wait. One, two, three times. Oh, I know. It took a lot of restraint. Look, I'll be honest. I am feeling a bit unresolved. Like, maybe there's more to come i feel that too Specs, you're struggling man oh it's uh written in the script the one more thing ah uh. this is a cinematic sneak peek from the upcoming cyberpunk shooter off the grid which arrives from the visionary mind of district 9's neil blumkamp oh ba -da -ba -ba -ba. i'm blumping it <laughs> Uh. Switcher. This godforsaken island looking for money. I came here to escape. Hey, Grant! Snap up! Grant! Are you awake? You hear me? Yeah, I fucking heard you. Yeah, this definitely feels like a blomp. Blomp camp. Yep. He's blomping it. And that is a sweet arm. Keep your eyes on the target, slick. Stop looking at my arm. I'm so cautious. Go on. Nobody in this universe is allowed limbs. Storm, take him out. Grant, you're with me. Okay, energy shield. Kind of seems like they might be setting up like a team-based multiplayer kind of thing. 
Unless it's just this is just pure narrative. Yeah, but I mean, if it's Blump, it's probably gonna have a story. Yeah, but people also love to force multiplayer into things that don't need it. That's true. I'll be honest, this doesn't look super good. No, you're just like blumpy. No, stay in the vehicle. It looks it looks very 360 era. Like dude shooter. Great yeah. color palette. I'm a fan of the overtly like dirty and gritty um, science fiction, kind of like Titanfall, yeah. sort of that aesthetic. Just because you don't really have a lot of it. Every I yeah. find sci-fi is always so clean. No, I agree. Left but like everything else about this, well, does the not problem seem is when they go for gritty, they're like, oh, now we don't have to try with our engine because yeah, okay. we just make it look shitty. It'll yeah. look gritty by default, and it's just like, at least make it look good and you can make it all you can grit it up later fucking mario ass triple jump sorry i'm a little close to my mic <laughs> These camera cuts, part one. What okay. a showstopper. Figuratively and literally. Because mm, that no. marks the end of the show. Okay. But don't forget, you can try out all of the demos on our future game show Steam page. And you can head on over to gamesradar.com. Hey, Jiggy, thanks for coming by. On all of the games well, apparently, we just finished the uh, thank you to future game showcase. This show possible. Uh, thankfully, it was mercifully short. Um, started out well, but then and I'm got a little weird. This has been the future game show at Gamescom 2022. But we do have a demo we're going to be checking out immediately after this. Hopefully it has controller support. I mean, the game released somewhat soon, so I don't expect so. Which one indigo? There were there were a bunch. Yeah. Was that just random live action <clears throat> footage of a cat? Mana is the gaming rewards debit card that puts the power back in the hands of players. There were a couple of games with overtly live action yeah. segments. You're earning for the rewards you actually want. We make it easy for you to set Oh look, it's a debit card mm -hmm. for gamers. Your mana account and start earning real life rewards the next time you play. Ah, oh, right, right, right. Um, that game was called After Image. Nana, game the system. <clears throat> All right. So that's done. Now, uh, let's take that out. Now, I should have probably tested this before going live. Um, can I change? Can I turn off VOD track midstream? 
I'm gonna give that a try. And, hmm? Should I boot up Parsec? Should I boot up Parsec? No, that's not gonna be necessary. I'll just screen share Solstice okay. when I uh, when I start that up. Um, sure. Okay, disable Twitch VOD track. Oh, it's not gonna let me do that. Um. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, actually, you know what, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I'm going to re-enable my desktop audio for the VOD. All this means is that my uh, YouTube VOD will not have any sound effects or notifications and whatnot, but that's fine. Wait, what? Only if I edit the video. Thank you, David. Thanks for coming by. Hope you're uh, slowly getting better. I know you said that you're back to work on Discord, so hopefully that is going well or, or went well. We are about to start. Um, is that your emerald-headed friend? It's not an emerald raptor. It's Demantoid. Gonna make him very upset. Right. You should know better. I should know better. You I absolutely be love a, your model. You're a fucking way. rock guy too. But I suppose you were never a gem person, so that's understandable. <laughs> yeah, I'll be completely honest, David. I had no idea what a demantoid was until I met you. <laughs> well, there's something that's nice about that. You get to learn. When you come by David's stream. He's a lot of cool trivia. Not just about gems either. Alright. Let us... Mm. Okay, let's hide that. Let's boot up Solstice. Raptor, remind me to. Oh God. Uh, the game what resolution happened? is all fucked up. Excellent. Ooh boy. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. We gotta. Or <laughs> it's gonna be a minute, guys. So it, it, I have a dual monitor set up and it is trying to scale the resolution of all my monitors to like a four monitor setup. Please come on. No, I don't want access accessibility settings. I want real settings. Come on. Oh, this is so bad. Let me kill that. Oh god, my fucking Streamlabs interface is all fucked up now. Uh, hold on. Shit. Um. I don't know how to fix this. Uh.
Sorry, Raptor went down the gemstone rabbit hole. Okay, I'm going to try... Hmm... I'm going to try closing Streamlabs and reopening it. If the stream suddenly ends, we're going to go live again right away. Don't worry. Um, but Solstice completely fucked up shit. So potentially be right back. Um, uh, I'm not going to switch my scene because I won't be able to fucking customize it because I can't access my sources. Um, okay, let's kill that. 